Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Media. My name is Israel Ajayi. I am happy and I can say categorically congratulations to you for you know following up for the first quarter of this tutorial. This is the end of the first month and if you if you've been following through from the beginning of this month, I can say to you congratulations. You're becoming a master in After Effects. I'm so happy because um, just some weeks back we started and we are thinking things won't actually move as we expected though but so far so good we face challenges that we overcome them and i'm so excited so um today because of um so today um, we're moving um a step further also and um i believe today will be different from every other today's tutorial is going to be different from every other tutorial i've been taking though we're moving gradually away from the basis gradually but we are still around the basis can you really dig that i think you should we're still with the basis though but we're just moving a little bit further so today i will be looking into you know mode text color palettes maxing and keyframe so all these will i intertwine together just to bring out something awesome just to do something awesome for you and for you to also learn something different from what you've been what you've learned before on this channel so and before i move further i want you to you know at least like this video even before watching it and subscribe to this channel for more awesome tutorials so let's jump into after effect asap and let's see what he has for us here we are in after effects very beautiful interface that you have to say so today we'll be working with a footage now what is a footage a footage is a video recorded by somebody or someone who anyhow you shall understand what i mean by a footage a footage is a, a film um you understand what i'm trying to say isn't it a footage is um um a video captured into a camera something like that i know you understand it let me just move further because we just have 10 minutes and today i will try my best not to exit 10 minutes um so today we're working with footage so let me import my footage very quick and simple this is where i'm going to be importing footage today i'm just going to come here click and um, drag so this is the way i used to do my thing i used to import um footages into after effect without stress and i double click here i move into how many seconds around the world with probably five seconds and go with five seconds then i click this then after doing that, I come here, click and drag down to this compositing window. So it pops up here, giving me my five seconds that we have to be marked in already. And here we are in After Effects, um, doing something awesome. So without any further ado, I don't really want to waste time today. So I'll be moving into what color palette is and how to use color palette. So what would actually make me take color palette is um, working with text and um, text will be the first thing so when i come to text and i click and i type or zoom i just thought of that right now so i'm sorry so this is your text now how do you work with your text this is the font i'm using right now it does not really matter just understand the basis of what text is all about now you can see if you run your mouse around it you can see at the first one you see it set set the font size so i can increase the size of my font the way i like now over here we have the tracking what does tracking does tracking just space it out for you and gives you this even spacing now let me quickly center it um in the composition if i come here you know how to center your thing already i already explained that in the previous tutorial. so now it is centered and you can still also, you can still work on it beautifully so i can also still increase it if i want to track it if i want to now you would be amazed here that there's nothing like keyframing around here you can't really keyframe things around if you want to keyframe it you just come inside here and just find your way into the place and just keyframe the way you like but i'm not thinking what that's going to be doing for you now so the next thing you'll be seeing is um your outline your stroke now you can either fill it over stroke it over there are so many options you can just go and manipulate it look for the best one is going to work for you and that's that for that so but for now i'm cool with what i am one pixel is okay for me so i'm cool with that so um like as i was saying i won't really advise you just play around with it anyhow but if you want to you can um 
come over here, double click, then you can increase your outline the way you like, and then um, play around with it. This is your height, you can increase the height of your um, font the way you like. You can also increase the, the width the way you like. You can also move it in, um, if you work with word very well, you should understand what I'm trying to do here. I really don't have a name for it though. And um, over here, you can also track it in together, just like the way the other track also works. Over here, we have uh, different styles of which you can actually just um, design your fonts the way you like. So, but for now, I'm not, I've done that. Uh, but for now, that is that for fonts, and I'm just gonna go with the basics and just. You can also, you can always go back there to just you know change it the way you like and just beautify your font the way you like but for now i'm just cool with that and let's just move further because there's a whole lot we need to cover today so that brings me down to what color palette is what is color palette or color palette or color you understand what i'm trying to say now if i double click on this um color few color here you can see you have a whole channel of color and this is what i mean by color palette now if i bring it at the center it evens it evens out the color at the center now if i move it further it makes the color brighter if i move it to the left it makes it desaturated and if i move it to the right it desaturates it and if i move it down it makes it dark so that is just the concept behind color palette and you can use your color palette to just you know make beautiful 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 designs and uh, beautiful color designs and you would really love what you'll be seeing over here it's the channel of colors we have you have so many colors and you can even bring in color codes and just paste and it just appear for example this is what the color code is if i over here and I control c to co copy it and for example probably i've moved away and i've moved away and i want that color back since i've copied copied it before i can simply come here and just paste it and paste it back there soon as possible so that's that for that so let's move to the next one the next one is um maxing now i'm going to shut the eye now for now so maxing what is maxing maxing is just simply you know creating a shape out of something whatever it is you can create a shape out of it in after effect and there are so many things you can use to max in after effect so for example if I want to use my shape. If I want to max just the shape around here, I just can click on my footage here and um, I can max out that particular area. Now I've maxed something out already. Now maxing, like I said, is just cutting out the shape out of something. And if I don't like it, I can undo. Now you can max with your shape tool and you can also mark with your pen tool. Now with your pen tool, you have the liberty to just, you know, design draw the shape around something and just just a minute please now if you all press down your spacebar you can move your mouse over the background now i've maxed this portion out of this place and that is that for that now to make it even more smoother to make it more smoother you can just come down here and just feather it a notch then it blends along, the, along. So you can see what this has done already. It automatically removes this sky out of it. And I can, for example, now I can automatically remove these skies out of it. Now let me duplicate this footage and remove the marks. I can simply click on the marks and delete it. That is for the second footage. Remember, I said you should always um you should always arrange your layer give them the proper name now this is the second one so i'll give it copy i'll name it mama copy that's that for that so now for example if i shut the eye now you can see the sky is no longer there and if i bring it back on the sky is there so that brings us down to um the last um topic we'll be taking today and that is keyframing what is keyframing like i said I've said keyframing over and over again and I'll keep saying key, what keyframing is all about because if you're in after effect and you don't know what key if you're using after effect and you don't know what keyframing is, I don't think you really know what after effect is all about. 
Now, what is keyframe? Keyframe is simply animation. Now, what is animation? Animation is a change in character and time space. So, what do I mean by all the grammar I'm just saying now? You simply animate, like in our previous tutorial, we spoke a little bit in depth about animation moving in, in 3D space. Now, I'm just talking about 2D animation. Now, let me quickly make an example here so that you would understand what I am saying quickly. Now, I make a cycle around here. Order my sheets to make it evenly tight. And that's that plan. I hit my on BM2. Remember what I said is going to do in my previous tutorial. So now this is the shape we've just created now. Now, for example, now if okay, it's not at the center now, so I want to align it to the center of the night and the center. And if you notice, the anchor point is somewhere around you. Now that is why I was talking about the tools, the script you have to encrypt into your after effect so that your workflow can be easy and the first script i would want you to consider i'll put that in the description below though the first script i want you to consider is ease and wheeze i would put that in the description below and the second script you should be considering too is motion 2. so those two scripts are the scripts i would really advise you should just you know get familiar with in our next tutorial I'll be using those scripts already and I'll teach you how to you um how to install those scripts into your After Effects interface so to be easy for you. So now I have this at the center of my composition and I want to animate it. So I can simply just take it, bring it down here. I'm moving it from left to right. Now this is it. I'm clicking it up here. Then I I move my my timeline indicator to a point then i what am i keyframing now that's that will be the next question the, what i'm going to keyframe now is my position so i hit my p for position remember what i said about the general the the, the transform tools that comes generally we have an ankle point position scales rotation and opacity but for now we are using a position and i hit p for that you can check our previous tutorial to know a little bit more about that so now from here to this point, so I hit my keyframe here. This is your keyframe. Now, as soon as you click, it indicates itself here. So in the space of just two seconds, I want it to move from left to right. I hold down my sheet just to make it very okay. Now that's that for that. Now you can see if I move my mouse over, you can see it move from left to right. That's simply animation that's simply keyframe that is what keyframe is all about and um like i said in our previous video i said i'm going to be taking it out to make it easy how to make it fun so for now if i press my f9 you might not know what f9 is right now don't worry i'm taking what f9 is as time goes on click and i come over here and i you can see f9 ease and ease it eases its own and um I right click again, come to my keyframe assistant, I can ease it out too. So if I play, for example, you can see the wheel just moves gradually. And that is that about keyframing for now. And that is that about everything we will be taking today. So if you don't understand anything, you can put it in the in the comment section below. And I would recap, I would come over it once more. And if it's something you can just watch the video all over again you can i would appreciate it if you know watch the video all over again just to understand this concept very well so um in our next tutorial i'll be taking something much more awesome once again i want to congratulate you for the first section of this training our first one month four tutorials already in our channels on after effects so i really want to appreciate you for you know staying with some liking this video subscribing to our channel i really appreciate it you guys are the reason why we keep releasing tutorials and um like i said after this first three months we'll be doing something we'll be releasing um a whole lot of tutorial that really really inspire you and get you started properly but for now this is this for this and uh, until next time my name is israel ajay